Greetings, little viewer of the Good Tonight here, and today we're reviewing the Task Force Gunfighter Belt 114 Echo. The Echo being this uh, cool little mesh personal lanyard loop here for uh, mounting yourself to uh, vehicles so you don't go flying out of like helicopters and stuff. That's uh, bad news bears. So, interesting little belt. This belt is effectively replacing the Rodan Shuto belt for a myriad of reasons. So, let's cover what this belt features first before we get into why we're swapping out the Rodan which is a good deal more expensive. So this belt alone runs for about 120 if you get it base, but they also sell it as a kit. And the kit thing's kind of important because the kit comes with the fancy inner belt. Now the inner belt is the pointy, was it the, what the, the hook? Yeah, the hook Velcro. I know my Velcro, I'm a smart guy. Hook Velcro and then the inside is the uh, soft um, Velcro. So if you're wearing it without the inner belt, if you're just throwing it on your silkies or whatever, then you could run it with just the belt alone. It's not gonna tear up the material and stuff. But it does come with the nice mesh liner. As you can see, there's your pointy uh, Velcro on that side because that goes into the soft hook of the outer belt. So, outer belt's comfy. It's a far more flexible belt than the uh, Rodan we're replacing. So you got your liner retention, you got your more or less standard double, uh, double sort of molly setup going on here. The belt actually does Velcro in sort of standard uh, rigger style, rigger belt style. So. You can adjust it by pulling that Velcro and adjusting the uh, Cobra buckle. The Cobra buckle is also very uh, small and thin, which is, a, again, another nice change from this big bulky monstrosity here. But if you take the belt off, like you do here, as you can see, you got all the soft Velcro. If you are mounting stuff on there, I do recommend the uh, WT fix straps. Those are fantastic. They get rid of the uh, bite and stuff you get with the uh, malice clips. But you can mount everything on there. Pretty nice. This is a bit uh, thinner than the other belts. The material is far more flexible, so it's not as beef and beefy and stiff to hold a ton of magazines, but also the way I like to do it is generally have like two handgun mags, a rifle mag, and your uh, handgun. And then medical weighs close to nothing. So you want to keep the belt relatively light compared to the Ronin. So it's a good uh, lightweight belt, especially to use with uh, plate carriers and stuff. You can see it comes right off, Velcro goes into place. The important test, the reason we're all here. My stuff is not flying off or causing all sorts of chaos, which is what I like the most. The inner belt is a little bit stiffer. Actually, let me get you a... So yeah, you got the flexibility. What I like most about this belt is that it does fold in half. So when you throw it in the range bag or anything, it's out of the way. It's not a big old beefy mean loop. Although I guess you could crunch this one down a bit. Yeah, it's still doable. But um, considering this one's significantly cheaper and you get a few more features that I like, Definitely a fan of the uh, gunfighter belt here. So, tier, making good stuff. Definitely like it. As you can see on the inner belt here, it's all pointy Velcro. I was initially really skeptical about that coming from the reverse polarity of the Velcro on the uh, Ronin belt. But as it turns out, this stuff does not eat into your clothes. It doesn't tear up your, the inside of your belt or anything crazy. It's really high, I guess you'd call it high grade Velcro. And I'm kind of used to the uh, cheaper Velcro that you see out and about on some products. Particularly replica gear uses really bad Velcro, but this is the uh, really nice stuff. It's not tearing up my my pant loops or anything crazy like I was afraid it might do. So, as you can see, they do like to put the um, tag upside down here. So if you're ever wearing the belt, like let's say you want to do a uh, YouTube review and uh, you forget a lot of details because there's a lot of details to remember, you can always go just lift that up real quick and be like, oh yeah. Because I can read upside down, it's a tier gunfighter belt 114 Echo MD medium and CYT Coyote. And then all your contact information stuff in case you know you're on the field and you have a belt related question like uh, you ate too many cheeseburgers and uh, your belt doesn't fit and uh, your mom's trying to get you to an airsoft game. You can call up tier and be like, hey, what should I do? And they're probably not going to tell you to go on a diet. They'll probably tell you something nice, but. Reality is, if you're eating too many cheeseburgers, maybe the diet is good. It's not just stuff you can see, you can damage your heart too, guys. Be smart out there. So, <laughs> you take the belt off, and this is um, the inner belt. Let's take a look at that real quick here. As you can see, is this nice, uh, really stiff, beefy material. If I press down on it, it doesn't collapse or anything. Like the other belt. However, this does, if you take it off, it also folds in half. There's a little crease in the back. That's not super crazy, but that lets you fold the inner belt as well, so you can also pack that, so you can uh, fold your pants up properly afterwards. But this one, as you can see, you got a soft 
on the uh, left side over here, and that lets you fold it up. If you pop it completely free, there's also another label over here for the tier gunfighter belts. Another B for some reason, 200. So this is where you'd find it if you're looking to replace it single, or if you need to order a large, because again, those cheeseburgers, man, they'll get you. They'll get you every time. But you can wear this as a standalone belt, so you can be nice and ready so you can throw your, take your gun belt off if you need to sit in a vehicle and you don't want to have your gear all over the place. And well, I guess it'd be all over the place if it's off, but you won't have it all up on the seat. So you can get a bit more slimmed down, streamlined, and uh, high speed Gucci, good to go. So, and well, it's good if you take the, uh, the mesh thing, what do we got here? This just says C8MD, I don't think it has any more details. That's all you get, that's all you get on the mesh, but. <clears throat> The mesh is nice. I like keeping the mesh in there when the belt's generally not in use. Mesh also, mesh also folds, by the way, but you slap this in there and it'll keep your stuff from moving around. And uh, if you're just wearing silkies or hear the uh, infamous bump in the night, it doesn't go too much around the front so you don't have anything in the way of the hips and stuff, but it's going to hold it to your body and give you a bit more breathability if you're doing a, a patrol or something and you got your blouse. I always call it a blouse. It's Marine Corps coming through. Everyone else calls it a field jacket. In layman's terms, field jacket. Oh. So many words! <laughs> uh, once you start calling lols bulkheads, your mind's just... it's not gonna be there forever. So, <laughs> mesh is nice, so if you throw on just silkies and stuff in the middle of the night, bonk, something's going on here, window break. You want to go investigate, but you don't want to grab your rifle and go all crazy, you just want to have like a quick handgun because you're indoors and you don't want to scare the kids and make a bunch of noise. I'm gonna throw on it with the mesh. It's gonna slip and slide around just a wee bit because there is mesh. There's no Velcro on Velcro retention going on with the belt loops and all that. I guess it is still Velcro on Velcro retention, but with the inner belt, it's stiff. It's not going anywhere with this. You're gonna get a bit of a sliding motion if you, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Actually, can I do it? Let me see. Let me go down here real quick. Let me just kind of bolt that on there. All nice and hasty. That's how it looks with the uh, mesh in there. Pretty easy. Sticks together nice, and we have to throw this over. We'll put it high, higher than I'd normally wear it, but I also totally have like the normal belt thing on. So if you move here, you're gonna get a bit of a swing. So something to be cautious about. It's gonna slide over the material a bit. Of course, that's me going hardcore, but combat situations can also be very, very hardcore. So you want your gear to hold up. So that's good. Most of my stuff is there. I mean, the handgun might rotate around a bit, but if I need it, I'm probably gonna be here. And, this is probably going to be up for the most part. Flashlight in hand, because you don't want to be pointing uh, firearms at the kids and stuff. But worst case scenario, if you do see someone crouch in the shadow, you, the light doesn't work, you always got... There's a lot you can do <laughs> with lights. And that's not the point of the video, so... Lights, doing your light thing. You can make sure the house is good, check the backyard. Everything's Gucci, copacetic, so... We're, I'm doing a light video later, so that's why I got caught up on that. So, really cool belt, simple. Feature loaded, absolutely feature loaded. You can do a lot of stuff with this belt. And that's what I like about it. So I don't got too much crazy stuff on here. Standard mag setup, a dump pouch, which people are both on and off about. Some people love them. I think they're nifty and handy. Medical kit, naturally. And of course, your handgun. So all the essentials you need, especially if you don't have the rifle on your right, rifle sort of things going on. So cool belt. And if you need to swap it back over, you just go over here. You go and you hit the, uh, what was it, like, A, B, up, or up, down, left, left, right, left, A, B, or whatever. And you just grab it and you go, <sighs> Fidelity. Because if you haven't played Mortal Kombat, what are you doing with your life? And yeah, then you just slap this belt right back on here. Bam! And you're good. And if you lose weight, gain weight, quick adjustment from over here. So, time that down a wee bit. So, super cool, super simple belt. Now, main reasons we're replacing it, the uh, fabric loop here for the personal retention lanyard is one of the biggest reasons, because the retention lanyard generally has metal things, and when you put metal on metal, you get a bunch of clinking and noise, and we are all about sound discipline here. We sit for hours on end like this. Just... So, yeah, sound discipline, very good. This buckle was way too beefy, and the belt was way too stiff. I'm not running enough mags to require all that... Uh, extra stiffness. Don't need my uh, belt popping Viagra just yet, you know, so. So yeah, this belt, a bit more expensive. I don't think the uh, 
There was a de there's definitely a noticeable difference. This has a bit of a sheen to it, but the material altogether seems better put together. The stitching's a lot better done on the uh, tear belt than the Ronin, so there's a few things to consider. Also, it doesn't say Ronin on the outside, so no, uh, no shameless plug going on with the gear. It's all nice and tucked away and very professionally done. So, cool belt, very nice, very simple. I wear a medium and on the... My kitchen's haunted. <laughs> I'm the only one here. So, uh, so, kitchen's haunted. Irrelevant to the video, yet, unless you start like seeing crazy apparitions in the video, then please let me know in the comments down below. The belt's comfy, material's nice, the buckle's very simple, works well, fabric thing. but I'm like, I'm wearing a medium, and I'm uh, probably like eight to 10 pounds heavier than I should be, because I've been uh, going more for this and not enough of this. And uh, yeah, it's mostly diet. The exercise helps, but predominantly diet, guys. So yeah, I've been neglecting the diet part. So uh, we'll fix that here in the near future. But uh, even so, the belt's still very adjustable. And I'm like, what, one, I'm taking me 185. I should be 175, we're a, bit, uh, we're a bit up there right now. But even so, no issues with the belt. Everything's nice, Gucci, and I didn't have to do any crazy adjustments for it. So, that's all I got for you guys. I mean, side view, side profile, rear profile, back profile, whatever profiling you need. So, good belt. I can still access my right pocket. The left pocket has magazines over it, but you can adjust it. I usually have it sit a little bit lower. Start from the lower portion just because it clears my uh, plate bags a little bit better when it's sitting lower on my body. And this magazine isn't bumping into the rear plate as much. So you can have it sit high, low, you can wear the mesh, you can get it without the inner belt. It all comes down to your personal preference and, the, and needs, and mostly the mission. So cool belt, works really well, and prefer it over the Ronin. So that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, station boys, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.